Hello, this segment of the video is going to discuss how to place your subwoofer to get the optimum performance in the room. So we're going to deal with the issues associated with placement. Contrary to popular belief, where you place the subwoofer in the room will make a significant difference to the way that the subwoofer sounds. So we need to consider a few options here in order to give you the best possible performance. With Velodyne subwoofers, we always recommend that you don't place them near a door or an ingress or outlet. We also recommend that you do not place the subwoofer equidistant between the width of the walls or the length of the walls. Other considerations are whether you should place the subwoofer in the corner of the room. Corner placement of a subwoofer will definitely make the subwoofer play louder in the room. But there are, there are some downsides to this. When you place the subwoofer in the corner of the room, the subwoofer may appear to be more boomy because of the boundary effect created by the bass vibrating off of the walls and modulating the sound of the woofer. Furthermore, corner placement can also give you boominess in the middle of the room associated with resonant frequencies. So there are some downsides to using corner placement. Also, the bass might become more directional. In other words, you can tell where it's coming from. So to sum up, if you want it to play really, really loud, you can put the subwoofer in the corner. So we talked about placement of subwoofers and our recommendation was the corner is probably not one of the best locations in the room. So let's talk about uh, the, the ways to get the smoothest bass performance from a Velodyne subwoofer in your room. We recommend that you use an unequal distance from, of the subwoofer between the wall, between the length and the width of the room. This will give you the smoothest bass performance and is one of the best ways to set up a subwoofer if you're going to use a single subwoofer selection. One other thing to be concerned about is you need to make sure that you have an AC outlet in the vicinity of the subwoofer because the amplifier is built in and you need power to the subwoofer. This section of the video is going to discuss the best way to connect your subwoofer. We at Velodyne always recommend that you use, preferably, what we call an RCA connection cable. This is the RCA cable uh, in a home theater system, Dolby 5.1 or 7.1. You would take the LFE or subwoofer output from your receiver, plug one end of the cable into the receiver, and the other end of the cable will be put into the LFE input jack on the back of the subwoofer. Sometimes, if you're going to use the subwoofer in a two-channel system, you may want to use two RCA cables, in which case you would run the right preamplifier output into the right side of the subwoofer and the left preamplifier output into the left side of the subwoofer. This is the preferred method of connecting subwoofers and uh, we generally recommend it. However, if you have an older receiver or, uh, or, you want to use, or you don't have RCA connections, you can use a conventional uh, speaker level connection or high level connection. This is 14.2 gauge uh, speaker wire with some binding posts on either end for secure connections. This is a secondary way of connecting it. Generally speaking, if you were going to do it this way, you would connect left hand to left hand side of the subwoofer and right hand to right hand side of the subwoofer. So you would actually use two high level or speaker cables. Hello, this seg segment of the video will tell you how to set up a Velodyne subwoofer. Many Velodyne subwoofers are equipped with a remote control which will allow you to adjust certain key functions of the subwoofer's performance. The first is, of course, the volume. On Velodyne subwoofers, many of them use a remote control volume, which allows you to adjust the level of the subwoofer 
to match that of the level of the loudspeakers. Just as a note of caution, many people tend to turn the subwoofers up too loud. The subwoofer should blend seamlessly with the loudspeakers and not be overbearing or too booming. The next function of the subwoofer that needs to be adjusted is the crossover. On Velodyne subwoofers, the 12 o'clock position on the crossover knob will set the frequency at 80 cycles. If your loudspeakers are smaller, such as a loudspeaker that you can hold in your hands, you may want to raise the crossover up to 100 cycles or above. Raising the crossover point too high will tend to make the bass directional and give you a little mid-bass boom. So 100 cycles is probably as high as you really want to set it. If you have larger loudspeakers, you can adjust the crossover point downwards to below 80 cycles. The third aspect of subwoofer setup is adjusting the phase correctly. The ability to adjust the phase of the subwoofer enables you to match the subwoofer's performance with the satellite loudspeakers that you are listening with. Almost all subwoofers are equipped with a 0 and 180 degree phase selection switch. Some Velodyne subwoofers come with a remote control that allows you to adjust the phase of the subwoofer in, in four distinct positions, 0, 90, 180, and 270. The significance of this is you can take a CD which has a repetitive bass line, put it on play, time 30 seconds, and listen to the bass. As you listen to the bass, adjust the phase at 0, at 90, at 270, and back to 0. The position that gives you the best bass performance or the most amount of bass is the correct position to leave the subwoofer. You only have to do this once and then the phase is adjusted correctly. This segment deals with automatic room equalization. Many of the more sophisticated Validine subwoofers are equipped with a unique digital signal process controlled automatic room equalization system. This system allows you to optimize the subwoofer's performance for the listening position and for the room's acoustic environment. In order to accomplish this, the subwoofer is equipped with a microphone which can be placed at or near the listening position and from your handheld remote you can activate the automatic room equalization system by pressing the blue button. The blue button will automatically start the EQ process and when the EQ process is finished the subwoofer will be equalized perfectly for your listening position. Now you have completed the setup process for a Validine subwoofer. You can take the microphone uh, and store it safely in the box for future reference. You only need to do this once. It is complete. Put on some music. Mm -hmm.